Hey guys, I can't tell you what an honor it is to have spoken to him. I just met Steve Ditko, the visual creator of Spider-Man, guys. Right here in New York City. Can you freaking believe this? Guys, this is Greg White, comic book artist, writer, and film director from beyondcomics.tv, coming at you live here in New York City. I can't even begin to tell you what this means to me and what an inspiration Steve Ditko, the visual artist, designer, creator of Spider-Man. Of course, you guys know Stan Lee is the written creator of Spider-Man. He wrote all the stories, named Spider-Man, etc. By the way, there is a third unofficial creator who is not credited. Uh, if you guys want to find out who that is and the proof behind that, please click on my other videos. It's, it's very interesting. There's three people involved, really, in the creation of Spider-Man. And Spider-Man would not be Spider-Man without Steve Ditko, without Stan Lee, and without this third creator. Check out the video at the end, uh, and you'll see a link to, to listen to that. It's pretty astounding, but boy, was he nice. What a lovely gentleman. I found out that he was stopping by uh, an office that he has here in New York City and a very private man for those of you who know he does not do comic book conventions he does not um, you know sign autographs or make appearances or anything like that he's very private um, which is why I did not videotape him or take pictures I wanted to be respectful oh my god he must be like uh, 89 years old or older uh, now which is uh, amazing but he was so lovely and wonderful um, I was so nervous about going I literally just was walking by and I was like you know I heard that he works here and uh, let me go check it out and I, I went to the security and I asked him if I could see him and boy do they have severe security let me tell you and those those security guys do their job well <laughs> um, they, they uh, checked me out heavily um, but they were like no you know you can't go up and what's your credentials and they scanned my identification um, and I explained I don't want to you know bother him I don't want to you know I don't want anything from him I just wanted to meet him and thank him for you know inspiring me to become a comic book artist he was one of my major inspirations and uh, what a dream come true to uh, have the security guy tell, tell me to wait a moment and uh, call up and then he said yes send them up I almost passed out because he doesn't see anybody I mean for those of you who know Steve Ditko does not see anybody um, what an amazing miracle this was it was incredible you know so one of the big things that uh, happened is I, I went up I went up to uh, to see him and there he is he's just locking you know his uh, studio and you know we're, we're sitting there and talking and he spoke to me for like 25 minutes so kind what a kind-hearted intelligent private and wonderful man you know and one of the big factors about that is uh, when I saw him come out, he was very well dressed, but he had hurt his uh, his wrist, you know. And I was like, "Hey, I was like, you know, are you is your wrist okay? Are you in pain?" He was like, "No problem, it'll be fine." He was like, "Really cool, you know, standing tall, all in his little office." And you know, and I, and I asked him, I said, "You know, thank you so much for taking a moment to you know talk to me as an independent comic book artist and to." communicate with me and, and everything like that and and you know I, I really appreciated him letting me come up and I told him I'll, you know if it's okay I'll drop off my, my new comic book um, that I did called Gakito with uh, uh, my co-creator writer Brandon Wilson I drew the book and he was like sure bring it back kid well you know it's really nice you know and, and I asked him about the industry and he told me so many incredible valuable secrets and for those of you who are comic book, you know, aficionados, you know what a master is. He's like the Picasso of comics. He is like, like, you know, one of the great masters of comics. Um, but he said he has no interest in, in that world anymore. He left it all behind. And one of the key factors is that he said, uh, as they were bringing in new artists, um, that he felt that, unfortunately, back in the 70s, they were pushing out the classic master artists, he said, and um, we're kind of almost ignoring them and just giving attention to the new younger guys, which is terrible. It's really wrong that they wouldn't take care of, you know, the, the old masters, according to him. 
And, um, you know, and he said that he and Stanley have spoken, and I guess they're on some type of peaceful terms or, or something now, um, which is great. Uh, and he said, though, I said, how did you come up with the idea for Spider-Man? How did you design it? He said, ask my hand. I mean, that's the coolest answer ever, right? But, but all in all, I'm like geeking out, guys. I feel so excited. I'm like five years old. I met the, the freaking co-creator of Spider-Man. <laughs> I felt this way when I met Stan Lee. You know, it was like such a thrill. So to meet, you know, the, the, the writer, Stan Lee of Spider-Man, and now the artist, the guy who designed the Spidey suit, who drew him. Wow. Uh, even in the new movie coming out, Spider-Man Homecoming, they even put the Steve Ditko spider web wings, you know, on the new costume, which is classic, and the eyes, you know, moving and stuff. Just great. But anyway, what was amazing is, is that Steve said, hey, man, it doesn't matter. People put out a lot of stuff. Some of it's crap, some of it's not. Some of it hits, some of it doesn't. He said, in the scheme of life, it doesn't matter. And I was like, wow. I said, because, you know, to me, the the emotional feeling it gave me to inspire me to create and draw, you know, that that matters to me. So I don't even think he realizes that he's so humble and so nice. He doesn't even seem to realize the impact, you know, that, that it has for us. But, you know, he left that world behind. Now he's, you know, doing his own stuff in, in his advertising, you know, uh, office. And um, I, I asked him, I said, so what kind of advertising work are you doing now? He's like, that's my business. I was like, oh my God, he's like just so cool. He's like a pimp, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's like, that's my business. But he said it like with such love and kindness and with a smile and, you know, there was such warmth with it. And we spoke literally like almost 25 minutes straight. And the fact that he took time, so the fact that Steve Ditko took the time to share his biggest secrets and the, the most incredible things about creating heroes and the industry and just, you know, things that, that I'm just going to, you know, keep private. You know what I mean? I really want to respect him and his privacy. Um, and again, they were very strict, um, went through a very huge process before they let me up there and they had to get permission from him. Um, you know, I had to give my identification, they had to check it out and see that I'm really in comics and that, you know, ultimately I, I just am so honored that he took the time to talk to me and share these industry secrets and, and I mean to think one of the greatest designers, he also created Doctor Strange guys, he was the visual designer creator of Doctor Strange, the, as an artist I'm saying, you know, so you know, don't forget uh, Stan Lee created the writing, he's the creative writer, the storyteller, the name, the guy who names the characters, and then here's Steve Ditko who makes all the visuals that we've come to love and, excuse me, and know and see, so wow, I mean he was just so humble and what a lovely man. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for updates. Please post your comments and your love for Steve Ditko below. Um, and guys, as they say in comic books, to be continued, thanks for watching. This is Greg Wyke, comic book artist, writer, and film director from beyondcomics.tv and as an independent artist, wow, am I humbled and I really, I'm so honored that he took the time to talk to me. So. You know, thank you, Steve Ditko. You're the best man. And, uh, and again, guys, please check out some of our other videos. And thanks for watching. To be continued.